Welcome back, everyone. Day two of IBM's Information on Demand. This is the Cube. This is uh, SiliconANGLE and Wikibon's flagship program. We go out to the events, extract a signal from the noise. Day one was amazing. Yesterday, we talked about big data analytics. We had a lot of customers on. We had the, the, the top analysts. We had Merv Adrian from Gartner on, Ray Wang from Constellation Research, and then, of course, my co-host, Dave Vellante. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE, and my co-host. Again, day two for wall-to-wall -wall coverage of uh, Information on Demand by IBM. It's Dave Vellante. Dave. Um, yesterday we heard about big data analytics. Today we're going to hear about social business. And uh, as we were commenting yesterday, it was certainly exciting to see the, the coming together of the technologies in IBM. Under the hood are the applications, the killer app of analytics um, in big data and insights and all that great stuff about visualization. But at the end of the day, under the hood is the technology of cloud, cloud infrastructure, mobile computing. And that's great under the hood. But what really makes data work is the, the business users. And, and social business is, is now the paradigm that's become legitimate in the sense that most executives that we talk to recognize the sea change of their business change, and that is how they talk to their customers, employees, and interact in the world, and in the wild, is going to happen on Twitter, Facebook, social networks on mobile devices. So uh, the social business market is certainly uh, changing radically. Um, society is changing. We're seeing the, the advent of hashtags. We're running a crowd chat right now, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, but the technology is moving very, very fast. More importantly, businesses are adopting, looking for roadmaps. So we're going to hear about social business today. Uh, it should be exciting. Uh, but I want to first ask you uh, what you thought about uh, day one yesterday and what you expect to hear day two here. Well, John, first of all, IBM's done a masterful job of really re-architecting IOD. IOD in the previous years was this collection of different business units. I mean, it involved information management, certainly the old Cognos business unit. I mean, even last year there was a, you know, a fair amount of flavor from, from Pure, and even though those guys are, are still here, Pure and, and other sort of ancillary or adjacent businesses, and, and even though last year we talked about how IBM had super glued its uh, analytics business to the big data theme, there were still some remnants of those old businesses, you know, seeping through the messaging. This year, there's no mistake about it. The, the 13,000 people in attendance here are hearing big data and analytics and social analytics. It's very clear. All the wood is behind one arrow, you know, to, to use a, borrow a phrase from, uh, from the 80s, if you will. Um, and, it's, and it's impressive. So I didn't sit in the keynotes yesterday. I listened to them remotely. The, today, I decided to go into the auditorium. It's, it's extremely packed in there. There's 13,000 people. Probably the auditorium maybe holds 20,000, but they've cordoned off certain sections of it, so it's, it's really full. Um, and the content was great. Uh, we saw a demo of Project Neo. So IBM is getting into the biz biz, John. And essentially, this is a key uh, uh, strategy, in my view, in order to reach the line of business executives and to permeate more users than just the hardcore analytics users. You know, for instance, if you look at the Cognos business, in the, in the traditional BI, BI business, there are professionals, there are analysts, there are real heavy power users that can build things like cubes and take three-dimensional views of data and set up structures and schemas, work very closely with the business to determine what the needs are. The problem with these cubes is they're very rigid, they're not flexible, they're hard to change. Uh, and so what big data is really all about, in many cases, is bringing different types of data to the user audience, and visualization is a key aspect of that. So Project Neo gets IBM into the heart of the visualization business, really a, a territory that's been dominated by the likes of, of Tableau and ClickTech and others. So I'm very curious just to see you know, what, the, what the feedback is from customers on Neo, uh, what the feedback is uh, from the marketplace. Neo is, you know, as we were joking last week, uh, AC, after cutting. So it, it's been designed with the knowledge of Hadoop and function shipping and all that other cool stuff that we always talk about on theCUBE. So that was one thing. We also heard Jeff Jonas essentially you know, describing how he, he's helping fix the broken voter registration system. We're gonna have Jeff Jonas on later today and uh, we're gonna ask him about that. Uh, we heard a presentation on Watson. Uh, you know, Watson, uh, I think, is entering a new phase here, John. You know, Watson went from sort of, you know, really impressive uh, uh, victory in the, the Jeopardy situation to start contemplating how Watson's going to be used in basic, in, in, in various use cases, healthcare and the like. And now IBM's sort of putting forth a vision of the potential of Watson and where this can go, you know, around cognitive computing. You know, the idea that, you know, computers can start 
reasoning and thinking more and more and more. And, and, and ultimately, as we've talked about many times in the cube, you can't take the humans out of the equation. Humans are the, sort of the last mile, or maybe it's the last eighth of the mile. But you can ra radically compress the decision-making time frame and, and increase the probability of better decisions and better outcomes. And that's really what IBM's talking about here. So I expect to hear more about that today. And also, we're going to hear a lot about social analytics for business. Um, that's something that IBM's really driving hard on. I'm, I'm really interested in learning more about that strategy. So that's going to be a drill down focus of our guests on theCUBE today, John. Well, we have uh, a smarter planet in action. I was just doing a tweet on our crowd chat. So the folks out there watching, go to crowdchat.net slash IBM IOD. This is our new selected directed availability public beta of our crowd chat application. It's an engagement platform with an integrated application. That's really designed, it's free. It's designed to, for community leaders. It's designed for a great end user experience. Uh, all comments go to the hashtag on Twitter or IBM, IBM IOD or on LinkedIn or Facebook. And the idea is to have conversations publicly in, a, in, a, in an environment that provides threading and readability. So go to crowdchat.net. Uh, we're, we're showing some folks here. And obviously, we're, we're top of mind around social business. We believe that you know, people want to connect with others, do business, do commerce, uh, and connect in real life, whether that's going to be at an emotional level, at a uh, physical level, or just in business. So, you know, uh, exchanging currency is a concept of social currency, ideas, and also real hard cash buying things. So at the end of the day, David, you know, that's what businesses want to do. They want to do commerce, do their thing, and their outcome is simple. You know, make money, support their shareholders, and support their, their profits. So that's what CrowdChat's all about. Go to CrowdChat.net, join the conversation. Lots of news to be announced today. We have our folks coming in, uh, the crowd captain. Then we have Isabel, we have Grant Case again, again in on this. So thanks for watching. And go to CrowdChat. Ask us questions. If you have anything particularly you want to talk about, just ask us anything, uh, uh, and we'll, we'll respond and we'll bring that in. But I'm going to be really, really excited to, to hear how IBM's changed their social business landscape. And IBM is no stranger to collaboration. Obviously, they've been in the computer business for many, many decades. Um, and with Lotus, that kind of DNA has been in, in the company. So you know, we're going to hear from Jeff Schick, who's, uh, who's going to come on theCUBE. We're going to hear from all their leaders. We're going to hear from Renee, uh, who's a, a leader on, there, on, the, on that side of the house. But the key da thing, Dave, is, is that right now the market wants new ways of doing things, not the old way. So I'm really going to ask the hard questions around what's different. What's different from the old IBM's version of social business, and how has it changed? How is it relevant today? Big data is real. It's here to stay, as Judith said yesterday, Judith Horowitz from Horowitz Associates. Big data is here to stay, and the killer app is analytics. Just like email is the killer app for the internet, analytics is the killer app for big data. That is going to create a massive explosion, I believe, will enable this connected devices like mobile and cloud computing, low cost, high performance infrastructure to provide business outcomes. And the businesses are changing their plans, re-engineering, doing deals with, with companies like IBM and others to essentially be ready for social business. So, you know, it's really, I mean, the national anthem is being sung in this, not because first innings not even even started in my opinion. So I want to hear what's new. That's going to be my focus. So, so we're going to have some good, good times. We have some great guests. We'll ask them the right questions and hear about the news. This is theCUBE. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break. For day two of wall-to-wall -wall coverage, this is theCUBE. We'll be right back.